Today's video is sponsored by Phone Rescue. With the release of iOS 16 betas, there could be data loss, and Phone Rescue can help you recover any lost data in the process. You can scan your device and recover data directly from your device. You can also use Phone Rescue to scan any computer or iTunes backup and restore any data back onto your device. And you can also use iCloud backups to restore data back onto your device in case you ever encounter any data loss with the latest beta. So check out Phone Rescue. Links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, I know I help here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has finally made iOS 16 available to the public. Anyone can now sign up and download iOS 16 to their devices. And of course, in this video, I want to go over anything and everything that's new within the latest iOS 16 public beta one. Also answer a few questions you guys have been having because Apple also released a revised version of iOS 16 developer beta three to sort of unify both betas. And I'll explain everything here in just a few seconds and of course in this video i'm also going to share with you guys where to download it and why you should probably hold off and if you're going to install it why you should hold off or maybe use a secondary device now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. I do have an entire video on how to install iOS 16 public beta. Links will be in the description down below if you do want to venture into doing that. Now I do want to emphasize there's over 50 bugs and issues within the latest beta so just keep in mind I've encountered tons of app crashing and that is normal right for a beta because this software isn't available to the public so developers can't update their applications in the app store therefore there could be app compatibility issues so so if you do decide to install iOS 16 public beta one, keep in mind that apps do crash ever so often and also Apple Music continues to crash and also the battery just isn't the best of course because it is beta software. Now the next thing I want to talk about, what's the difference between public beta one and developer beta three. Now as I mentioned, Apple today released a revised version of iOS 16 developer beta three. Here it is. I just downloaded the software. It was about a gig and a half approximately. Now beta three for developers and public beta one are essentially the same software. As a matter of fact, Apple today released a revised version of developer beta three in order to make the build numbers the same for both public beta one and developer beta three. So just keep that in mind is the exact same software. It's just that Apple first tested the software internally and with developers and now they have the build available for public beta testers. So to 20A5312J is going to be the first beta for the public and the third revised beta for developers. From here on out, Apple will continue releasing developer betas and public betas a few days from each other, but they're essentially the same software. So next, I want to talk about the new features and changes within the first public beta and the third revised developer beta. Is there anything new? Well, after using the software for about an hour and a half before for filming this video, I've only noticed one thing, something that's changed within Apple Music. So if you're playing music on the latest beta and you go into the cover sheet or the lock screen, you can actually tap onto the album artwork and the background sort of blends in with the color of the artwork, the artist in front and center with the artwork. You have all your controls. You can tap it again to minimize it just like so. So full screen, Apple Music and music controls on the lock screen is one of the things I've noticed so far that's new within the latest beta for public beta one and revised beta for developer beta three. Aside from that, I'll continue digging around the software, but that's everything I've noticed so far. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about how to install iOS 16 in public beta one. I have an entire video step-by-step -step on how to install it. I'll link that in the description down below. Here is the website, which I'll link it in the description down below as well. Apple, aside from iOS 16, also released iPadOS 16, tvOS 16, watchOS 9, Mac OS Ventura and the HomePod OS 16 as well for public beta testing. So anyone and everyone can get their hands on public beta today. Again, I always recommend you do this on a secondary device because of course there's still bugs and issues that could occur as I mentioned previously. Thank you for watching this quick update guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.